parks in Durham still have areas that are closed after Duke researchers found lead in the soil. A professor expressed some concerns, and WRL Investigates uncovered emails which showed employees put off his concerns for months. Today, that researcher told WRL's Monica Casey this may be a problem in other urban areas as well. Lead levels in eight samples from this East Durham Park measured greater than the EPA threshold. The Duke professor who discovered this problem says this may be an issue in city parks around the country. Orange fencing blocks off parts of parks around Durham. The restricted access is recent, but the issue goes back decades. Duke professor Dan Richter noticed an overlap of old city incinerator sites on a 1937 map and contemporary Durham parks. As a soil chemist, that really got my interest. Gathering data from digitized newspapers, Duke's original testing looked at East End, East Durham, and Walltown parks. The city's third-party testing company added Lyon and Northgate parks to their testing list. 500 truckloads of ash were, were transferred from Walltown up to Northgate Park to fill in low-lying areas. Richter says this is not just a Durham issue. City waste ash was improperly disposed of around the country, disregarding the impact on human and environmental health. It was dumped in harbors, it was dumped in gullies in California uh, in the 1940s. It, it, it was, they were filling up uh, canyons. Uh, doing things that we would never think of doing today. With better technology, access to historical records, and a new focus on city soil maps, Richter hopes other cities will start cleaning up their parks as well. We can track down these uh, city park problems and city soil problems in a way that we wouldn't be able to maybe a decade ago. In Durham, Monica Casey, WREL News. As for the next steps in Durham, the city says findings have been submitted to the state and access to those contaminated areas will continue to be restricted.